Eric Ten Hag's tenure as Manchester United manager has been put to a permanent end and the United Twins need to speak about it. So let's get straight into it. 10 minutes before midday, the club released a their statement revealing that the Dutchman has left his role as first team manager. Essentially sacked and until an appropriate replacement is found, his now former assistant, the man who arrived in the summer being a part of the coaching team shakeup, Ruud van Nistelrooy, will be taking charge of the team on an interim basis. At this moment, there isn't a time frame on when a decision will be made, but instantly names are emerging. And when I think about it, this validates the recent reports of United officials having backdoor conversations with representatives and potential options. They on Ten Hag, no doubt about it. There have been moments of optimism in his first season, going on separate runs of 9, 10 and 11 games unbeaten in all competitions, winning the League Cup and reaching the FA Cup final in which we were convincingly beaten, won it a year later. But at the conclusion of that campaign, I saw something to build upon the first season. Foundations were set, even despite the start where we were decimated by Brighton and, and Brentford, it was that turning point moment where Hug ran the distance of how much the players were outworked by that Brentford team, and, and that was the switch. Red flagged results would show up from time to time, like Liverpool 7 0, City 6 3. And yes, it was fair to raise eyebrows in those scenarios. Perhaps now, those who chose to do so, taking a more radical standpoint, feel vindicated. But I still saw the positives. My biggest aim, however, was to see a development in the way we played football. Seeing the team being built in a manner that can win games in a multitude of ways while having a base they can stay consistent to. Sadly, none of those things ever materialise and the Dutchman has paid the major price. Well... I most definitely wasn't expecting any form of news this big being revealed after yesterday. Uh, we were extremely deflated and have been for a very long time. If we're being true to ourselves. You mentioned one thing, CM, that ultimately when looking back at his tenure will be a running theme. Poor starts. Season 2 and Season 3 being diabolical in the sense of breaking the club's record for worst league starts. Last season, it was five wins and losses in our first 10 league games, I believe. A disastrous return to the Champions League, winning just once, drawing once and losing four times, resulting in a bottom place group finish. Had it not been for our FA Cup run, perhaps this conversation may have come sooner. But ultimately, our partial or now partial owners in your showed him grace, while they carried out much needed changes around Eric Ten Hag. You always felt like he was on borrowed time as there would be stories of their confidence in him from time to time, but it was never set in stone. Non-definitive answers, so even ones to interpret whether these votes of confidence were truly genuine or enough to, again, buy time for when the trigger needed to be pressed. Now it has been, and immediately names have emerged like Julian Nagelsmann, mm -hmm. Germany's current head coach, Ruben Amorim, the young upcoming coach of sport, Sporting Lisbon in Portugal. Rumours of Omar Barada recently having conversations with former Barcelona player and manager Xavi and a few more, Thomas Frank and, and so forth. It seems that Kinyos initially want to push for Nagelsmann and we'll see how that progresses. But in the comments, let us know who you'd like to replace the now departed Eric Ten Hag. The third longest tenure of a Manchester United manager post Fergie. And to conclude on everything we've said, it had been coming. This decision, of course, to sack Eric Ten Hag. The lack of consistency in results, performances, and when you're struggling to find answers, sometimes you just have to pull yourself to the side and say, let it go. Mm. I've experienced a mild case of denial previously as a United fan because I'm wary of what the past entailed and 
I really wanted to move away from that. But things have changed since then. And if those changes are as significant as we hope them to be, then for the very first time since our, our glory era, Manchester United should be employing a head coach who will first and foremost match the match what should be heightened long-term ambitions of this club. And in the short term, we'll be able to deliver visual representations of what we can look forward to as everything falls into place. A coach that is capable of developing tomorrow's talent from within, very important, improving some pre-existing squad members while collaborating with the management team in recruiting players who will fit a more expansive style of football that demands players with high levels of on-field IQ, technical competence and commitment to excellence in execution. And that will be quite the turnaround from what we're seeing at the moment. Big time. Something that won't happen overnight or all at once. But I think as a fan now, more than ever, it's good to be consistent about what you expect and want to see from the club and, and this team moving forward. I'll say that I am still sceptical of everything. Ineos is still being monitored despite the praise we've bestowed upon them. The Glazers are in the background taking what feels like 0% of the blame when they are very much a part of another managerial failure at this football club. The difference is that now they can hide even more in the shadows of the darkness while others do their dirty work. Whoever will be the next Manchester United manager, this has to be the correct choice. I've seen people say we must continue to be ruthless until we get it right. But I'll tell you all this. What choice Ineos makes down the line will shape at least the next 18 months after that. And with each incorrect decision, that timeline will only be pushed further and further back. Minds will be made up by then too. We have to do it right. Yeah, so for now, Rude takes charge for the foreseeable. Perhaps in that November international break that takes place after we play Leicester in the league, post-November 10th, we'll get an answer to the biggest query in football right now. Who will be the next Manchester United manager? Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Share to your friends and frenemies. Let us know your simmering thoughts about Eric Ten Hag being sacked relieved of his duties as Manchester United manager. And until the next time, we'll see you lot soon. Stay tuned.